Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. I'm proud to be with you for the uh, first broadcast of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl Finals on Vegas PBS, where we're putting the best of the best up against each other. On the line is a trip to Washington, D.C. and the National Science Bowl. Now we have two teams that have made it to the finals after a grueling round of competition throughout an entire day. Let's go ahead and meet our teams. And uh, teams, as you introduce yourselves and you test your buzzer, tell us your name your grade, and your all-time favorite movie, if you have one. We'll start with the team from Coronado. Tell us, A1, who you are. Jordan Doctors, I'm a senior, and all-time favorite movie would have to be The Matrix. Excellent, test your buzzer for us. Thank you. Next. Hi, I'm Alan Yu, I'm a senior at Coronado, and I, my favorite movie is The Prestige. Very good. Um, hi, I'm Murtaza, I'm Murtaza Burhan. I'm a senior at Coronado, and my favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. Excellent. And test your buzzer for us. There you go. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm John Dew. I'm from Coronado High School, and uh, my favorite movie is The Dark Knight. Oh, very good. And let's move down to the team from Palo Verde High School. I'm Robin Vierpin. I'm a senior at Palo Verde, and I like The Social Network. Very good. Hi, I'm Alex Shen. I'm a senior at Palo Verde, and my all-time favorite is Toy Story 3. Very good. I'm Nathan Grimes. I'm a senior at Palo Verde, and my favorite movie has to be Independence Day. Very good. I'm Emily Conley. I'm a junior, and my favorite movie is Finding Nemo. Excellent. Very good. Well, we also have uh, judges and timekeepers and other folks who you can't see on TV, but they're helping us with the competition. We also have some folks that we need to thank for making this all possible before we begin our competition. One, of course, is the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration Nevada Site Office. They are the folks who put this whole thing together for us. And we also have the uh, folks from the Clark County School District and the coaches for all of these students. The way we do the game, it's an eight-minute round in one half a two minute break, and then another eight minute round. There are several important rules that are carefully observed during any science bowl match. Number one, on toss up questions, a student must be verbally recognized by the moderator before replying. If the student responds before being verbally recognized, the team is automatically disqualified from answering that question. It's called a blurt. The question is then offered as a toss up question to the opposing team. Number two, on toss-up questions, there can be no conferring among team members on either team at any time. If conferring occurs on the team that was initially recognized to answer the question, that team is disqualified from answering the question and the questions offered to the opposing team. If conferring occurs or has occurred on the opposing team, it too is disqualified from answering that question. Point penalties are awarded to the opposing team for blurting, conferring, and answering wrong when the question is interrupted. Number three, challenges must be made before the moderator begins the next question. All challenges must come from the team members who are actively competing. An alternate may not object. Number four, on bonus questions, there are 20 seconds after the moderator finishes reading the question to begin answering the question. If the team fails to begin the answer before the timekeeper says time, they have missed the bonus question. The timekeeper will say five seconds when there are five seconds remaining. And number five, on the bonus question, only the team captain's answer will be accepted. And time will start in that first round after I read this first question. It's a toss-up question for both teams. The category is physics, and this is a multiple choice question. Which of the following is an example of antimatter? W, electron. X, photon. Y, graviton. Z, and that's B, Captain. Z. Z is correct, and it's a bonus question now for Team B only. The category is physics, and this is a short answer question. Name the two things that together constitute about 95% of the universe. You have 20 seconds. Two things? Two things elements? Of 95% of the universe. They're necessary elements, but. Yeah, mm. Matter and antimatter? Yeah. Yes. Like matter and antimatter? We were looking for dark matter and dark energy. So that's incorrect, and we have a toss up question now for both teams. The category is energy, and this is a multiple choice question. Below what approximate temperature in degrees Fahrenheit does natural gas become a liquid? W, negative 260 degrees. X, negative 100 degrees. Y, 0 degrees. Z, 5 degrees. A, 3. 
W. W is correct. Now it's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is energy, and this is a multiple choice question. Natural gas is often stored and transported as a liquid because W, it is less flammable as a liquid. X, it takes up less space as a liquid. Y, pipelines cannot transport gas. Z, liquid natural gas does not smell as bad. You have 20 seconds. It could be W. Because I know it's could not be, no, what about be X? Y. X. I don't think. W? Oh, I mean, oh, I mean yeah, it could be X. X. But does it ha doesn't gas have less volume than liquid? That's true. So wouldn't it be a W? No, no, no. Guess no. Else. no, no, no. Well, yeah, that's true. W. W is incorrect. The answer is X. Now a toss-up question for both teams. The category is math, and this is a short answer question. What are the complex roots of the equation? Parens X plus two close parens the quantity squared equals negative one. A, Captain. Negative 2 plus or minus I. Judge, that is correct. We ha have a bonus question now for Team A only then. It's a math question. It's a short answer question. A car drives 100 miles. For 20% of the, of the time, the car drives at a constant speed of 45 miles an hour. For the remainder of the time, the car drives at a constant speed of 20 miles per hour. How many hours does the entire trip take? Round your answer to the nearest hour. And you have 20 seconds. What's two ninth? Point one eight? No, no, point two ninth is like two point two two two, right? two 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 two. To the nearest tenth, they said? Yeah, I think. Five seconds. Uh four point two hours. Judge? I'll say that is incorrect. We were looking for four. Now a toss-up question for both teams. The category is energy. This is a multiple choice question. How does the production of propane from natural gas compare to propane production from oil in the United States? W. More propane is produced from oil than from natural gas. A3. W. W is incorrect, and that is an interrupt. I will reread the question in its entirety for Team B, which does get a point award. Categories energy, multiple choice question. How does the production of propane from natural gas compare to propane production from oil in the United States? W, more propane is produced from oil than from natural gas. X, more propane is produced from natural gas than oil. Y, propane production from natural gas and oil is about equal. Z, propane is not produced from natural gas or oil. B2. X. X is incorrect. The answer was Y. Propane production from natural gas and oil is about equal. Here's a toss-up question now for both teams. The category Earth and Space. This is a multiple choice question. Approximately what percentage of water on Earth is fresh water? W, 3%. X, 7%. Y, 10%. Z, 15%. A1. W. W is correct. And it's a bonus question now for Team A only. The category Earth and Space. This is a multiple choice question. What type of lake is very clear with few fish and not many plants? W, eutrophic. X, oligotrophic. Y, mesotrophic. Z, phototrophic. You have 20 seconds. Cut out the Z. I don't and think it's W, because eutrophic is the one that's all murky, right? I'm not sure, though. I think eutrophic, good trophic. Yeah, good for trophic. Alice, Alice, and then meso. I think X. It's up to you, I guess. Oh. X. X is correct. Here's a toss-up question now for both teams. The category is biology. This is a short answer question. What is the term for an RNA virus that is replicated in a host cell via reverse trans... And that's A, Captain. Retrovirus? That's correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for Team A only. The category biology, multiple choice question. During the reverse transcription process, a deficiency in which of the following enables retroviruses to mutate quickly? W, stop codons. X, cytosine. Y, proofreading. Z, DNA. You have 20 seconds. Because it goes reverse, right? Yeah. Right? Z. Z is incorrect. The answer, Y, proofreading. Here's a toss-up question for both teams. The category is math, and this is a multiple choice question. Evaluate the following expression. The quantity N minus 2 factorial divided by the quantity N minus 3 factorial. W, N minus 3. X, N minus... <coughs> And that's A3. N minus 2. That is correct. Here's a bonus question. It is for team A only. The category is math. This is a multiple choice question. If f of x 
equals 2x minus 1, and f of g, parens negative 2, equals 7, which of the following could be g of x? w, negative x squared, x, 2x, y, 2x squared, z, the absolute value of 4x plus 4. You have 20 seconds. Okay, so x has got to be 4, so g of minus, g of negative 2 would equal 4. And uh, mm -hmm. g of negative, okay, so what, the last one? No, yeah, the last one. Huh? Um, z. Z is correct. Now a toss-up question for both teams, the category Earth and Space. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following does not explain why many optical observatories are built at higher altitudes in the mountains? W, less twinkling from the atmosphere. X, less light pollution. Y, less cloudiness. Z, convenient. Um, B, Captain. Uh, y. Y is incorrect. That is an interrupt with the point award to Team A. I'll reread the question in its entirety. Category Earth and Space, multiple choice, which of the following does not explain why many optical observatories are built at higher altitudes in the mountains? W, less twinkling from the atmosphere. X, less light pollution. Y, less cloudiness. Z, convenient access for scientists. A2. Z. Z is correct. It's a bonus question now for Team A only, the category Earth and Space. This is a multiple choice question. What is the source of the annual Perseid and Leonid meteor showers? W, comets. X, the Earth passing through an asteroid belt. Y, early solar system debris. Z, deorbiting Cold War era satellites. You have 20 seconds. W, W, comets. Okay. W. That is correct. Here's a toss-up question for both teams now. The category is math, and this is a short answer question. What is the area of a square if the length of its diagonal is 7 square root 2? B, Captain. 49. That's correct. And now we have a bonus question. It's for Team B only. The category is math. This is a multiple choice question. What transformation is represented by the multiplication of the 2 by 1 matrix XY by the 2 by 2 matrix row 1, 1, 0, row 2, 0, negative 1? W, reflection through the X axis. X, reflection through the y-axis. Y, reflection through the line y equals x. Z, reflection through the origin. You have 20 seconds. Through the x-axis. Yeah. I think it's through the x-axis. Well, y is negative. Yeah, so. so there's three x-axis, which is so w. Which is? W, right? Was it? W is through the x-axis. Five seconds. Okay. Yeah. W. W is correct. And that's the end of the first half of our competition. Before we begin the second half of the Regional Science Bowl final round, we'd like to take a couple of minutes to step back and show you how today's students got here. The 2011 event began with teams from a four-state region arriving on a Friday afternoon at the Atomic Testing Museum to register, take pictures, get goodie bags, and get in some practice time with a mock competition. That's a, that's a interrupt, B2. All 32 teams also watched a slideshow of the 2010 regional champions from Palo Verde High School in Las Vegas and their trip to the national finals in Washington, D.C., the same trip this year's winners will make. Competition began for real on Saturday morning at the Carol Harder Classroom Complex on the campus of UNLV, with round after round of some of the smartest kids around answering tough questions in a variety of sciences and math, climbing one by one through the bracket. A late morning break included lunch in the ballroom of the UNLV Student Union, with encouraging words from several speakers, including a retired NASA Space Shuttle astronaut, United States Air Force Major General Roy Bridges, Jr. retired, now with Northrop Grumman Technical Services. He had some real-world advice. Say, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something if you really want to do it. Now, you may have to work very hard, and you may have to adjust your goals as you go along because sometimes you run into a wall and you can't climb over and get around. But don't let anybody say you can't do it. Just go for it. 
and then a Nevada Regional Science Bowl first, the afternoon competition at Vegas PBS, with elimination rounds continuing, bringing us to where we are now, on our way to finding out the winner of the 2011 Regional Science Bowl. After the first half of our final round of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl, the score is Team A, which is Coronado with 58, and Team B, which is from Palo Verde, they have 22 points. Now, this is the time during the game where we would have substitutions if they have some. We'd introduce the players, but we have no substitutions, so we're ready to begin our second half with an eight-minute round, and there are no substitutions, so time will start after I read this question, which is a toss-up for both teams. The category is chemistry. It's a multiple-choice question. Which of the following substances can behave as either a Lewis acid or a Lewis base? W, ammonia. X, hydrochloric acid. Y, sodium hydroxide. Z, acetic acid. B1. W. W is correct. Here's a bonus question now for Team B only, the category chemistry. This is a multiple choice question. Of the following 1.0 molar solutions, which will have the highest pH? W, hydrochloric acid. X, hydrocyanic acid. Y, acetic acid. Z, sulfuric acid. You have 20 seconds. Acetic is weaker than cyanic, right? And that was strong. Acetic acid, I feel, is is weaker, so it has a higher pH. So yeah. 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 acetic acid. That's incorrect. We we're looking for X hydrocyanic acid. Now a toss-up question. This is for both teams. The category is physics. This is a short answer question. What is the name for linear and circular devices that boost beams of particles to high energies? A3. Particle accelerators? Judge, that is correct. Here's a bonus question now for team A only. The category is physics. This is a multiple choice question. Two electric charges are separated by a distance D. What happens to the force if the distance is halved? W, it doubles. X, it quadruples. Y, it is halved. Z, it remains the same. 20 seconds. X. X is correct. We move on to a toss-up question for both teams now. The category Earth and Space, this is a multiple choice question. Which of these characteristics does not indicate that an area was likely glaciated in the past? W, a V-shaped valley. X, erratics in a valley. Y, a lateral moraine at the side of a valley. Z, a cirque lake at the top of a valley. B, Captain. Z. Z is incorrect. A, Captain. X. X is incorrect. We were looking for W, a V-shaped valley. So we move to a toss-up question for both teams. The category is biology. This is a short answer question. What are the four stages of mitosis? B2. Prophase, interphase, anaphase, and metaphase. Mr. Judge, I believe that is incorrect. Let's go with A1. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. That's correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for team A only. The category is biology. This is a multiple choice question. A sperm cell is found to have 18 chromosomes. How many molecules of DNA were present during metaphase one of the cell cycle? W, 18. X, 36. Y, 72. Z, 144. You have 20 seconds. 72? Because uh, for metaphase one, oh, doubles, okay, yeah, double, so double, double. Okay, uh, why? That's correct. So here's a toss-up question for both teams. The category is chemistry. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following elements is the least reactive? W, xenon. B, captain. W. W is correct. So here's a bonus question. It's for team B only. The category is chemistry. It's a multiple choice question. What is the oxidation number of tin in the following formula? Parens, NH4, close parens, sub 2, SN, Cl6. W, negative 4. X, negative 2. Y, plus 2. Z, plus 4. You have 20 seconds. So it's plus 4, right? Plus 4, right. Okay. Plus 4. That's correct. So here's a toss-up question for both teams. The category is biology, multiple choice. Students are given an organism and asked to create an experiment to determine whether it is ectothermic. They vary room temperature and record whether the body temperature of the organism changes. 
which result will be consistent with an ectothermic organism. W, the organism's body temperature would not vary with room temperature. X, the organism's body temperature would vary inversely with room temperature. Y, the organism's body temperature would vary with room temperature. Z, the organism's body temperature would only vary when the room temperature increased. A1. W. W is incorrect. B1. Y. Y is correct. So it's a bonus question now for Team B only. The category is biology. It's a multiple choice question. A student wants to know if drinking caffeinated coffee before an exam increases performance. To test this hypothesis, the student gives half the class caffeinated coffee and half the class decaffeinated coffee. What is the independent variable? W, the students. X, exam performance. Y, caffeine consumption prior to exam. Z, there is no independent variable. You have 20 seconds. Why? Why is correct. So here's a toss up question for both teams. The category is physics, and this is a short answer question. What principle states that the more precisely we know the location of a particle, the less. And that's B, Captain. Heisenberg uncertainty principle. That is correct. And here's a bonus question. It's for team B only. The category is physics. It's a short answer question. In addition to the mutual uncertainties of position and momentum, which other set of mutual uncertainties did Heisenberg discover? You have 20 seconds. Position and momentum. Uh, position and velocity, right? Okay, so position and velocity. That's incorrect. We were looking for energy and time. So we move to a toss-up question for both teams. The category is Earth and Space, multiple choice question. Uranus is most similar in size and composition to what other planet? A1. Neptune. That's correct. And it's a bonus question now for Team A only. The category Earth and Space, multiple choice question. Uranus is unique among the planets in our solar system because... W, it has a highly elliptical orbit and is occasionally further from the sun than Neptune. X, it is the only outer planet with an icy shell. Y, its rotational axis is nearly parallel with its orbital plane. Z, it orbits the sun in a clockwise direction opposite all other planets. You have 20 seconds. Because it's like upside down, isn't it? Wait. Uranus is the one that's like vertical instead of normal, right? So yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's Y, right? Y. Y, okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, Y. Y is correct. Here's a toss-up question now for both teams. Category math, short answer question. What is the range of the set? Four, three, seven, nine, and eight. B, Captain? Five. That's incorrect. A, Captain? Six. Six is correct. It's a bonus question now for team A only. The category math is a short answer question. If 1,543 is the nth term of the arithmetic sequence that begins Negative 7, negative 2, 3. What is the value of n? You have 20 seconds. Put that so 1550, 330 plus 1, 331st. Wouldn't it be 311? 331st, right? Well, 300, wouldn't it be 334? Because you have to factor in negative 7, negative 2, and 3. I did. I got 311. I got 311. Uh, the 331st. Uh, that's incorrect. We're looking for 311. Here's a toss-up question for both teams. Category biology, multiple choice. Homologous structures in animals are evidence supporting evolutionary theory because these structures, W, perform similar functions but do not share the same basic structure. X, can differ in appearance between animals but are modifications of the same basic structure. Y, uh, B3. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question now for team B only. The category is biology. It's a multiple choice question. What do the human appendix and the python pelvic spurs have in common? W, they're both homologous. X, they're both analogous. Y, they are both monophyletic organs. Z, they are both vestigial organs. Z. Z. 20 seconds. Z. Z is correct. Here's a toss-up question for both teams. And we did not get the toss-up in. And at the end of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl, the final score, Team A, Coronado with 104, Team B, Palo Verde with 72, the winner, Coronado. It was a great competition, and we thank you for tuning in. We wanted to award a second-place trophy to the team from Palo Verde. They did a great job. You guys were awesome throughout the competition. You only lost that opening round and then also... Uh, you lost the final round, but you also get this trophy and a check for $2,500 from the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration, Nevada side office, the check being held by the coaches for Palo Verde. That's Cheryl Waldman and Frank Franco. Thanks, you guys. You've got some really smart kids.
and they are going places. They're going to be doing fine. Thanks, you guys. Now here is our winning team from Coronado getting that first place trophy and a trip to Washington, D.C. representing the Nevada Regional Science Bowl in, in the National Science Bowl competition in April. They get the first place trophy. They get two gig iPod shuffles and a check for $5,000 from the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration Nevada site office. There's the coach up there, Matt Aberman. Great job, Matt, and great job to Coronado. Good luck in Washington, D.C. We want you to come back winners there too, okay? And we thank you for tuning in to the Nevada Regional Science Bowl on Vegas PBS.